Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Alex. And today we're gonna answer the question, how can you access files from your Spring Boot application that are somewhere on the class path? Off we go, let's code. Okay, so I have my default setup, Spring Boot version three. I'm using the web starter. Let's go. So I added a file already. So you can see I'm in the resources folder. There is a subfolder which is called files and in there is a file that's called sample text. So now the question is, okay, how do we actually access the content of that file? Now let's go here into our application and let's start with a command line runner so we can actually see something. So I'm gonna do this. This is a command line runner. And here are a few things that we want to try out. So I'm, I'm just adding a helper function because reading the file will always be based on an input stream, right? So let's call the stream input stream. Let's make it nullable. And let's also make sure that we have a lock in here so we can actually lock. So private, nope, private, well, lock. Where is it? Equals logger factory get logger app. So now we can lock and in this read function, what we're going to do is if there is a stream, we want to use the buffered reader, mm, buffered reader, that should be not null. And we use use um, and then make sure that lock info it read text so something's missing so maybe it's the import let me import input stream and we close this okay so we always expect the input stream that we can read right so here are three ways of actually getting the contents of the file so we start with the injection one so usually these files are resources within spring so i could use the add value annotation and then request class path and within the class path there is files and a sample text and this is gonna be laid in it uh, because it's not available initially uh, import uh, which one is it spring yeah let's call it sample it's fine import value in annotation so and first thing we're gonna do is we read sample input stream and we're gonna start the application a few times. So I'm using injection here, using spring expression language. So I say on the class path, there is something that's a folder, there's file, and below that there's sample txt. I want to have that injected, and then I access the input stream, and I just lock whatever is found there. And we go run the app, as we would have expected. Right down here you can see, hello, I'm the sample. So that has worked. Now, stop application. That was the first thing. Next up is being explicit about it. So what we could also do is we could use read and then construct a class path resource and then pretty much do the same thing. So I'm building a class path resource. I add the path where I expect it and I access the input stream. Let's see if that works. Starting the application again. And there we go. Hello, I'm assembly. That has also worked. So. And here's the third way of doing it. So we could also read and then access the Java class, then get resource as stream. Now this time we have to start with a slash to access that. Uh, it's the difference, right? So here it's relative, so it's files, it's files, but here it's not relative anymore. I have to specify that path. So actually, let me let me leave it initially. We start the application just just so make sure that that you don't have to trust me. So it says null. Why is it null? Well, because we have to specify a slash here. Now restarting the application. Boom, there we go. Hello, I'm the sample. Three times that works. So now here's a little caveat though. You may be tempted to access the actual file. So I could say, okay, lock info file. And then we access, let's, it doesn't matter which we access. Let's, let's uh, use this one. So sample file. So that should give me the file, right? Uh, so you might use this. Now let's actually restart the application and it works, right? So it shows you, okay, this is the file. The file down here is users, Alex, blah, blah, blah. That's the repository that I'm using. Uh, build sample text file, all good, right? So, but now let's actually do something what most of you will do. At some point you will call 
boot jar because you want to have the jar file and then have it in a Docker container or running somewhere. Doesn't really matter. So we have the boot jar now. And now let's go to um, the terminal and we go into the build folder. We can see there's the lips, which is usually where the jar is being generated. So here's the spring file access jar. Now, this is the way to start it, right? So I can say Java, jar, and the whole thing. And it starts, looks all good, and then there's an exception. So why is that? If you scroll up here, you can see it still reads our file three times. So that's not the issue. But what is the issue is actually accessing the absolute file because that doesn't work, right? If I just scroll down here, you will see cannot be resolved to absolute file path because it does not reside in the file system. So it tries to get this on a file system and doesn't have access to it. So this doesn't work. Um, so this is usually why you should work with the streams um, because they should always be available. So these are three quick tips on how to access files that are on the class path already. If there's something missing or you have questions, just drop them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.